Hello everybody, this is Mr. Bowen. Today we're going to be looking at the Alex topic, determining if figures are congruent and related by a sequence of transformations. So, um, if two uh, things are congruent, uh, two shapes are congruent, then um, they should be a series of transformations uh, that we can use to turn one into the other or make it move into where they, the other one is or whatever the case may be. So what we're doing here is we're going to see if they're congruent, and these are. Um, you can count the sides if you want. So there's one block here, three blocks there, two blocks there, and a diagonal two. And we have a one, two, three, diagonal two. So they are congruent. Uh, all the angles, all the sides are the same. So the question then is, how do we get figure A to turn into figure B? So if I have this, how do I get it over there? So um, we're going to run through our options and see which one would land there. So move it up six units. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be up here. And then rotate 180 degrees around the origin. That seems promising. Um, I'm not going to go all the way through uh, and figure out all the points yet. I'm going to run through and see which ones um, seem reasonable first before I try and do all of them. So this one seems reasonable. It lands me in the, white, in the correct quadrant. Um, reflect it over the x-axis, so that would be up there, and then rotate 90 degrees clockwise. That won't work um, because if I'm up here, rotate 90 degrees clockwise, that would be this quadrant, not that one, so that can't work. Rotate figure A clockwise 90 degrees about the origin, so clockwise be up here. Then translate that unit 6 units to the right. Uh, that will also be in the first quadrant instead of the fourth and rotate figure A counterclockwise 180 degrees about the origin. So this is the way. And then reflect over the y-axis. So that would be over here. So that can't work either. So I only have one feasible answer, but since I do have a none of these option, I do want to make sure that actually works. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my vertex points then, so you can see what I'm doing here, move those up six units, and then rotate 180 degrees counterclockwise. So get down here. So up six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's up six units. And then rotating these 180 degrees. Remember, you're going to have the same coordinates just with opposite signs. So if this one's negative two, two, then I want it to be at two, negative two, which I have. This is negative 5, 2, so I want it to be at 5, negative 2. Okay, good. Negative 3, 4. I want it to be at 3, negative 4. 3, negative 4. And last but not least, negative 2, 4 would turn into positive 2, negative 4, which it does. So that is 180 degree rotation correctly, so that's my option.